hey wonderful people you're welcome back to the channel this is Yiglo fashion thank you so much for stopping by you can see the lovely style of my mannequin it's butterfly booboo dress with ski o and a collar neck so please stay tuned and enjoy the tutorial it's a well detailed tutorial and please like and share the video and subscribe as well thank you very much stay blessed this is the door face fabric i'll be using to uh, for the color and this is the main fabric for the style and also this is the measurement i'll be working with today though i don't really need everything in the measurement book but at least i'll be using part of it first of all i folded the fabric into two equal fold them into two equal parts and I used two yards of fabric for this style so first of all I measured the length though it's a bit longer than two yards it's like just two, three inches longer than two yards you know a yard is 36 so I have like 30 like 40 or 39 inches thereabouts so after folding it into two the next thing is to fold into four equal parts so i have two folded sides facing my direction even though i'll still be changing the placement so i place the four equal parts so i changed it like i said so i have the two equal parts now i have another four equal parts facing my direction but it's not separated like this side i hope you understand what i'm saying so i went ahead to open it up so i'll be cutting both front and back together at the same time so that's why i decided not to separate the front from the back now after placing it well on my table just to ensure that there's no ruffles in between ensure it's well placed So I measured for you to know how where it will end at the sleeve, you measure from your the middle of your shoulder to the length to the length of the sleeve you want to you you want it to end. But for this now for the neckline I measure 3.5 inches by one. That's because I'm cutting both front bodies and back together. So I have to make the the width to be equal at first so i separated the front from the back now after separating i measured the i measured two inches from the shoulder this will help the falling of the shoulder line uh, sorry the sleeve side so it will relax well at the sleeve side so and i connected it back to the neckline which i cut at first like i said I, I to get this particular part you have to measure from the middle of your neckline down to wherever you want the sleeve length to end and for this particular style i used 29 inches that is from the middle of the neckline to the wrist side is 29 inches now back to the shoulder i measured from the shoulder to the nipple point i don't want the chalk to really show on it because you know i'll be stitching inside so that's why i even turned my fabric to the right side so sorry if you cannot see what I'm choking properly. It's because I don't want it to disfigure the fabric. So on the nipple point, I measured the nipple circumference divided by four. Then I added one inch for ease. The next thing is the circumference of the under bust. And I added one inch as well for ease. 
so if you check properly you will see that the the keyhole started from like two inches after the nipple point so that's why i even measured the circumference of the nipple point and circumference of the half length though it doesn't get to the half length directly so i removed like one inch from that then since i now have the correct measurement of the nipple point and the half length so i try to extend the key hole with like three inches that's after measuring the circumference of the nipple point and the circumference of the half length i extended it with three inches then i created a circle there so to cut the circle i first notch one side of it then i went ahead to cut it round just follow whatever i'm doing here it's very easy and if you know that when cutting this the fabric can scatter you can use pin to secure it so while cutting you won't have issues with it so after cutting the key i went ahead to measure the hip circumference sorry the shoulder to hip length then after getting that the circumference of the hip i divided it by four so i have it close to where the key o is and i went ahead to make like a line shape there you please note that i also added is allowance to this you know there won't be zipper here you need to wear it without zipper so you need to add ease to it for easy access to enter the bodies so i make the down a line The next thing to do now is to separate the back from the front you know the neckline shouldn't be equal and the equal, the neckline is still equal for now so i separated the two and worked on the neckline of the front so for the neckline of the front i made i came down with six inches for the neckline though it's a v-shape so I slant it back to the neckline. The initial 3.5 inches I used for the circumference of the neck. And after doing that, I opened the middle up. Since there is going to be color there, so I opened the middle. So I went ahead to the machine to stitch both the front and the back together. So first of all, what I did was to place the back and the front equally just to ensure that the circle is well laid so I don't stitch wrongly. So you can also use pin to secure this together so you won't it won't so as for it not to stress you. So I stitched that round and to turn it you just pull out the front from the back like the way i'm doing it now it's not hard just pull it out from the back bodies so and reset it on the machine you can see then you can go ahead to iron this out so i did that for both sides then i went ahead to stitch the shoulder shoulder and the sleeve you know it's cut together sleeve so i went ahead to stitch that side also i turn it to the wrong side then stitch on it after doing that for both sides as well this is, this is what i have now the next step to do now is to to measure the circumference at the at the chest line 
sorry the circumference of the of the dress that is the chest line to the neckline so that's what i'm doing now so you need to notch the middle of the back neckline so as to know where because definitely you can't get the actual measurement from the fabric the additional fabric you'll be putting so if you measure the circumference or if you measure the total circumference of everything you just divide it into two or you measure from the neckline to the m and whatever you have there you cut twice of that so i cut twice of that now and also that's the length the width i worked with is 4.5 inches is 4.5 inches and also i so it's 4.5 inches and i joined the two together So you can see the 4.5 inches so this is optional yours might not be as long as this and it may not be sorry it may not be as wide as this so and i sorry i first went ahead to join the two together then i joined the two together then i folded it can see and I put here I folded it then I stitch it on the fabric directly so after stitching you just use your weaving machine to weave the inside for proper finishing ensure that it's well stitched and laid properly having done with that I stitch them on each other if you want opening here you can just leave like five to six inches before you start your stitch but the dress is short enough i don't need any opening for it actually the person that holds this is an elderly person so then after doing that getting to the neckline i went ahead to lock it at the neckline so that's where the stitch ended this is what I have at the end of the day. The next thing is to stitch the sides. So I've, I've also stitched the side. Lastly, I stitch the M line. After the M line, I went ahead to stitch the particular measurement I, I used for the hip. You know, I said it's in form of a line, so I I went ahead to stitch this. So while stitching, before I get to the M line, like six inches to the M line, I stop the stitch. Yes, yeah, six inches to the M line, I stop the stitch. This will give easy access to move the laps very well. But if you stitch it, then you may not be able to work well. So thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Bye.